Hi there, welcome to Nucleona Studios. My name is Andrew, and in today's tutorial, we're going to take a quick look at how to effectively install Eon View in your computer. And before we do that, I want to give you a quick tip, and that is how to properly protect um, your serial files. And this doesn't just apply to View, this applies to anything you have. It's a very good idea to, um, to keep your serials password protected. One of the most effective ways to do this is using an archiving tool such as 7-Zip, uh, WinZip, WinRAR, or the like. And you can do this in 7-Zip after you have installed 7-Zip, uh, which is spelled just like this, by just right-clicking and going to the context menu and adding to archive. And then over here, just type in a password. And what this does is it requires the user in the future to enter a password to extract that file. And without entering that password, um, that file cannot be extracted and used. This protects your serials, and it also protects you, um, keeping you, uh, as you are liable for your copy of Eon View and other softwares, and some of them can be very particular. If your serial is hacked or stolen, you can get in a lot of trouble. So it's a very wise idea to make sure that you keep your serial protected. All right, just a beginner's, uh, little beginner's tip. Now, when you first download View, you're going to have two uh, download links. One is going to be for the uh, application's installation file, and the other one's going to be for an extras file. I uh, will quickly run over the extras, how to install that properly, after we quickly run over the application. First thing you want to do is right-click, go ahead and extract those. Um, extract to start out star. And they will create folders that look just like this. Now go into the 2014 Pro, or if you're using 2015, you'll go into your 2015 folder and you double click on uh, your setup and if you're using Mac you'll you'll use the setup.act by double clicking on this guy here which will be your uh, installer and then um, you're gonna have a few different options here your first option is infinite if you purchased infinite you'll select that if you've purchased extreme you'll select that and if you want to install network rendering you will select network rendering if we go ahead with network rendering we can look at the different options that are available you have uh, network rendering for a person who purchased infinite Network rendering for a purchase, person who purchased Extreme, and network rendering for a person who purchased uh, Render or who wants to use Infinite Render Cow. You notice that there is no Render Cow for Extreme in this option, in this uh, in this selection here. I'm not going to get into the details of how to use um, Render Cow or how to use the uh, rendering nodes. Uh, that is, I will give a tutorial on rendering nodes in a future, in the future, but not on, uh, not in uh, present tutorials. So I'm going to go ahead and select Extreme 2014, as that is the, the version that I have. Please take note that if you have a copy of Infinite, selecting Extreme will not give you access to Extreme. It will still install um, Infinite, all the features of in Infinite, um, because it's tied to your license. Now, for security purposes, I'm not actually going to go ahead and show this part of the video. I'm going to skip this so that my license is protected. Um, and I will pick up in just a short moment. So now that you've gone ahead and installed your licensing information, I'm going to quickly run over a few pieces of information regarding plugins. Um, first of all, if you're using a program such as Blender or Hexagon from Daz, um, you won't need to install any plugins for them. They are already fully compatible with Eon View, um, and so you don't have to install any additional plugins. I will point out that Blender is extremely compatible, and if you can work well with Blender and get over the learning curve in Blender, um, it is a great piece of software to integrate with Eon View. Um, that also being said, 3ds Max and Maya are also extremely efficient. I haven't had any experience with Cine Cinema 4D or Lightwave with View or a soft image, so we're not going to touch on those. Go ahead and find the version of View, or sorry, a version of your software that's installed. Um, if you have a 0.5 version, make sure that you select the 0.5 version. Um, for compatibility reasons, if you select 2013 and you have 2013.5 in Maya, you're not going to have an effective use of that plugin. Um, you will find that there are compatibility issues, and even some, uh, in some situations, your software won't work at all. So make sure you select the proper version of your software. Um, Maya does have some limited compatibility with you as a standard. I know I have a version of 2013 Maya, and um, it comes with um, some plugins already effectively uh, that work semi-effectively with Eon View, but um, the ones that View will offer you will be much more effective. After you've done that, you can go ahead and select Next. Um, and this is the next and final thing that I'm going to discuss. 
uh, in this video, and that is to browse your extra content folder. And that's the folder that we discussed in the first portion of this video. Um, that's the folder here that we've extracted. We extracted these. And um, so just find that folder on your computer, click browse and select it. And then you'll select next and that'll install view. I've already gone ahead and selected next and installed view. Um, but you can do that and then uh, you'll be ready to go. Um, when you first load up view, you might get, um, I'm actually going to demonstrate this. When you first load up view, you will find you're going to find that a menu is going to pop up unless you have an extremely advanced piece of software or extremely advanced video card um, it might look something like this and it's going to tell you that the video display is not compatible with these display settings um, don't worry about that. That's not uh, that's not an issue. It doesn't mean that you can't use uh, Eon View. It just means that the particular settings that it starts with, the display configuration that it starts with, are not compatible with your present selection. You'll also see a menu that's or in a, a dialog box that's similar to this one, and that will say it appears that your video board is not compatible with some of the features used by this software. These features will be dis disabled, and the application will restart. Um, these are features such as uh, certain levels of OpenGL. Um, again, you need a so you need a video card that has um, software built into it that works specifically with programs like View and Maya to ha have access to the features that it's referring to. All right, and so we've gone ahead and set up View. I don't think there's anything else that I need to discuss today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.